Hello everyone, Lady De Winter here, and today I'm still fueled by yarn and coffee. So, love that cup. I got it at um, Hobby Lobby, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it was Hobby Lobby. I got that. I love that cup. Anyway, today I want to talk to you about a couple things. First of all, the new shirt that I'm working on, uh, as you see, it's coming along. I've had to take this shirt apart three, four times now and redo it. All because I was doing something really stupidly. Uh, I figured out my mistake, which I was measuring it on my bed, and my bed was kind of lumpy in areas. It's not not lumpy, but with the blankets and the sheets and all, made it a little lumpy. So the measurements were coming out wrong. So then I laid it out on this table and measured it, and it came out just fine. So then I watched a Jada in Stitches video, and I found out that as long as I have the correct stitch count, it doesn't matter how my ends look. If they look a little crooked, that's because the way it lays. But as long as my stitch count is exactly what it's supposed to be, that's all that matters. So see, you can learn something new every day in crochet. Now, I want to talk to you a little bit about the shirt I'm making. There's the, the thing and the needles I'm using. Well, first of all, I am going to weave in a couple ends while we talk, because why not, you know. Um, as you know, I have a lot of trouble getting some crocheted items done. That is, you know, nothing I can help. I have arthritis in the hands, and sometimes it really does bother me. So, now, you're probably wondering why I'm doing this this way. It's because... I don't want the stitches to show as easily, but I still want to weave this in. Now that I know where all my mistakes were at, and I'm going through the stitches, but sometimes I actually, come a little closer please, I actually go through the actual yarn, as you can see. I'm going through this piece of yarn, right there. And that helps to lock your stitch in place. So, now, and then we're going to continue doing this for a few minutes. Now, this particular piece I'm rather fond of, and the reason is I changed needles halfway through making it. I, like I said, I've had to take it apart three times. So, halfway through making this particular blouse, I've had to change my needle now three times. So, what I've done is, I'll show you this, and I, I said that I did not like Susan Bates needles. Well, I was wrong. This is a Susan Bates needle. Since using it for a while, instead of just using it for like three or four stitches and putting it aside, I've decided, yes, I really like this needle. I really like this needle because this hook here catches really, really well. Okay? You see that sharp point in the hook there? It catches your yarn really, really well. So I love it. I love this needle. I bought two of them. I'm going to buy more. The biggest problem is they put a nasty label right here, sticky label. I found a way to get rid of that also, folks. You take a little bit of Dawn dish liquid and a light scraper, you know, dish scraper, scrubby, and you basically, it takes like three or four times, but you can get that the gummy part off and the needle is just fine. Or you can buy Goo Gone and do it that way. I'm cheap. What can I say? So, so anyway, this particular project has been made with this needle. I love it. So, and you know, that's basically it. It takes me a while to crochet, guys, because my hands start bothering me. I have serious arthritis in my hands, and it bothers me. Uh, why am I using a metal needle to sew this stuff in? Uh, because in my personal opinion, metal needles work better. That's all there is to that one. They just work better. Now I can take it through here, and I'm going to take it through the strand of yarn again. And I'm just going to keep going over this way until I get it all hidden inside the work. So, and that I have to do. These are where I tied on new colors because I was running out of yarn, I thought. So I started white and then realized, no, you might have enough yarn. But by that time I had ordered, oh God, let's see, three or four white uh, uh, skeins of yarn from Hobby Lobby. I love this cotton. I ordered three of those to be sent and there was a problem with the order. 
So then I went and I tried to buy some Lion Brand yarn, and it is not, you know, 24 7 cotton. It is not as nice as this. So that yarn wasn't going to work. So then I went to Premier and bought some cotton sprout yarn in white, thinking that would work. And lo and behold, I found this at Hobby Lobby. So I bought it. Then the Hobby Lobby online told me, yes, your yarn is going to ship. So I've got yarn coming out of my nose now. I have got so much white yarn, I'm going to have to figure out something else to make. I'm thinking winter snowflakes. So anyway, the yarn I'm using for this shirt is, uh, I love this cotton, in sunlit seafoam. Now, they don't have any more of this at my Hobby Lobby. They changed their displays and everything. So, I have to use what I've got. That's why I added the white to it. So, now, when I finish this, this is going to be kind of a sleeveless, maybe a sleeveless tank top kind of thing. It's going to have straps here, kind of like this shirt, but a little bit wider and I will be able to wear this in the summer. And the reason I chose that design is because I love these colors. Now this is a different stitch right here, but doesn't it look different? This is a half double crochet done only in certain parts of the stitch. When I do the front row, when I do the front row, I go through this part of the stitch which is these two right here on top. I go through there like that, and I leave the back loop there, as you can see, out. When I go through this side, I go through both of these, leaving that little bar, let me get that up, that little bar right there, I leave that in. So it has made this nice, I like this stripey stitch. But you can also use it this way. This is what my Eastern Nova shirt is made out of. This is a half double crochet stitch. Now I'm betting you're all wondering why she's using half double crochet. Because it meshes together better and doesn't leave any opening. I'm a very loose crocheter. I crochet loosely. So when I do a double crochet stitch, there's big gaps. You'll be able to see right through the shirt to my bra. With this particular stitch, you can't. Which is another reason I'm going to start learning new stitches. Uh, I am going to be showcasing in the next few months every new stitch I learn. A new stitch a month. So that's something you'll be seeing on the channel because once I learn it, I will demonstrate it. So, and that's about it for now. We are, oh, and I made this little bag to hold all my little implements and stuff. So, yeah, I put my little needle threader in there. And then I've got this for my needles and stuff. And the beauty with crochet is all you have to do to... There, my needle's in place. Then I can button it and flip it over and put it away. So, there you go, folks. Uh, I have changed my opinion on Susan Bates' needles. I decided I do like them. And it might be time for me to try some new needles out and see which ones I like and which ones I don't. So, this is your, I guess, yarn update. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Until next time, this is Lady De Winter reminding you you're never too old to do anything you put your mind to doing. Bye-bye for now.